so let's talk about uh, this new article that was coming out. This was uh, making the rounds over the weekend as well when it came to Dan Lin. And we were kind of excited for uh, Dan Lin, but then, uh, you know, things just kind of fizzled out. He seemed like, oh, yeah, maybe he's go- going to be the guy, but then all of a sudden it's just like, ah, oh, no, he's not going to be the guy. And I'm reading an article right here from um, Comic Book Resources uh, right here, and they just kind of said, like, DC Films reportedly lost its Kevin feige S candidate, Dan Lin, in direct response to the cancellation of Batgirl, okay? This is an exclusive from Scoopy Pants, Mr. Umberto, saying that that was the reason why. That was the reason why that Dan Lin didn't get, didn't, uh, that he kind of dropped out of the, the candidacy of the DC head. And I was kind of going like, okay, not what I heard. And this is what I heard, guys, is the fact that, no, he very much did still, you know, he wanted the DC head job. That's why when it got released, and again, these people utilize the trades to spark up interest and try to get social media interest. So then, you know, it's it's like it's campaigning for the job. And I even mentioned that then. And I think we mentioned that, you know, even discussing on the vodka stream and stuff like that, that, yes, they'll utilize the trades to try to get the trades to get to get the specific job that they want. They want that. They want the job. So, uh campaign for it and it seemed like you know when we heard that 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 podcast of course it pissed off some people but most people were like well it sounds like he's very excited to maybe even do something when it comes to a dc project but uh from what i gathered wbd didn't want him didn't want him now again you could take my information with a grain of salt but it wasn't about the cancellation of batgirl that 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 he was like no screw this man i'm done now, there was that, and then, of course, his production company, because there was complications with that as well. So there was, like, many number of things, but they're main, mainly Mr. Scoopy Pants right here is trying to focus on the fact that, oh, Batgirl was canceled? Well, screw that. That's right. Well, I'm walking. I'm walking. I, I don't believe in that. Get out. No. No. Bullshit. No. Of course, you don't. No. That wasn't the reason. That was not. The, I, I, I don't believe that was the reason at all. It's like, if you want the job, you want the job. You know, it's a business and he's part of this business and he saw that that happened. Sure. But he's not going to be like, nope, I'm done. Sorry, you can't do that. No, no. I think it was just because I think he wanted to go for the job. And apparently Warner Brothers Discovery didn't want him. But then it kind of like goes, OK, Zaslav and crew, who do you want? Who do you want? You know, I guess you I don't know. Who do you want? I tell you who they don't. And I tell you that I could tell you who they're not having talks with, because this was another thing that was floating around today. Debbie Snyder, okay, can we stop it with the Debbie Snyder talk when it comes to the DC head that was floating around today, and we all know where that came from, the scoopsy daisies over there that are talking about that, of course, and I'm just like, can we stop with the Debbie Snyder talk when it comes to the DC head? It's not going to happen. She doesn't want that job. Why would she want that job? Her and Zach made Stone Quarry. They're making the original content over at Netflix. DC's kind of a mess right now. Why would she want to come back to that? We've talked about this before. And I'm like, I have to talk about it again because the rumor is back because, you know, the scoopsy daisies over there are just like bringing it back because they know that uh, the the audience wants to hear that. And uh, when I even posted about it on uh, Twitter, well, first off, the quote tweet that I did, the tweet, the initial tweet, they deleted the tweet because they realized, oh, yeah, maybe I shouldn't be tweeting this because it doesn't sound right. And, uh, you know, of course, you get the pushback. Are you 100 percent sure, Dave? How do you know? How do you know? You know, it's always that kind of stuff. Like, how do you know? It's like, well, you know, just listening to the man talk over the past couple of years, you know, I could tell that, yeah. But at the same time, it's like she produces the movies for Zach. That's the team that they have. Why would she want to come over here and try to clean up the mess with this craziness? I mean, there's other people that don't want to take the job either. I mean, apparently Dan Lin wanted to take the job, but I mean, my God. So, I mean, it's just like, why? Why would uh, why would anybody want to, uh, you know, like, why? I just get the whole Debbie Snyder thing out of everybody's head, okay? Everybody, you know, let's just do that. Just do that. Just stop it with that. Please just stop it with that, okay? Because, you know, and, and again, when it comes to certain scoopers, it's like, you know, just stop it with, you know, trying to do scoops when it comes to the Snyders when you have people that literally talk to them. You know, talk to him. And I'm not talking about me. It's like, yeah, I have a connection with him too. But at the same time, there's people that even have more of a connection that talk to him even more than I do. So it's like, no, just stop. I mean, 
people were like, well, it says in talks. I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, uh, okay, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. Maybe there's a, a conversation that happened, but it would probably get immediately get shot down. Immediately shot down. Because that's just, you know, the struggles that the Snyders had with the previous regime. I'm not saying that they would have the same struggles with the new regime, but at the same time, I'm just kind of going like, they're still... If, if anything, if she was going to take the job, it wouldn't be, again, for another few years because they were doing so much over here. And Zaslav and crew, they want somebody now. And I think they realize that. David Zaslav realizes that, yes, people are all about the Snyderverse and as well as they should be because Snyderverse, good foundation. But at the same time, they realize it's like, okay, we can't maybe get them back right away. Can't get them back right away, so... But so, yeah, get that out of your heads, guys. Get that out of your heads. I mean, if you want to believe that, fine, sure. I'm not going to try to crush your dreams or anything like that. I'm just going, eh, well, it's not going to happen. I know some people still want to do that, but I'm just going like, man, God, really? You're still going to try to scoop that kind of shit? I'm like, ah, stop it. Just stop it. Just stop it. Stop it with that, you know? Stop it with trying to scoop stuff with this, you know? It's just, it's just, ugh. He kind of lets people know things, but you know. Yeah, yeah like second one, brothers. brothers. What he said, anyways. <laughs>